All right, so we are doing a continuation reading of the book known as the Bible. Now I know it's been a year since I last uh, started reading the Bible, which is the book of Genesis. And I had told myself that I will finish the Bible by 2021. But here's the thing. I didn't say I will finish it in, a, in one year. I didn't say I was going to finish it in one year. Because in the calendar of America, the United States, they made a calendar that is a pagan calendar. So this pagan calendar is known as a 365 days of roundabout year. So how weird is that? Because in school they never taught me this. In in school they teach you that uh, calendars are 365 days, and then a year passes by. But in reality, God never said that. God said there's only going to be seven days. It ends on a Saturday. And then no more no more such thing as having months. No more such, such thing as having years. That's all made up by the U.S. American government. Now, where did this calendar come from? It comes from the Vatican. So the Vatican is a Catholic church in Italy. So as we come to know, the Italians, they are uh, the influencers of the, uh, of the solar calendar of 365 days within a year or 12 months within a year. So in, in God's eyes in the Bible, God teaches us that there should only be seven days for a reason. Because there is no need for a pagan festival such as Thanksgiving or such as uh, October, which is Halloween, or even a uh, festival such as Christmas. That's all paganism. That's all uh, doctrines. Doctrines are fest festivals known to mankind to be a uh, part of the known world. But as we come to know, God in the Bible, and Keep in mind, this is the, the new international version. This is the new living translation. We can come to see that even here, there is the belief of the seven day, seven day week creation. So it says, uh, your day should begin with a Sunday, the first day of the week, and your day should end on the seventh day of the week, which is a Saturday. A Saturday. Now, one thing that one needs to remember is that there are some in the world that were meant to be the salt. They take their time to try to make the point into the conversation. There's other people who intend to be the sweet sweeteners of the world. They they speak more fast and they try to get to the point as fast as possible. But what is the point in that? There's no learning in that in in, in that type of conversation. You just speed up uh uh, process of what you're trying to say So it is true what uh, some some presence my uh, In the world might uh, be considered as ignorant because they intend to uh, delay their way of speech But what if in reality they're telling the truth, but they they're uh, uh, Holding back for the right moment So for example, there was a president of Uganda that I just recently watched on YouTube the president of Uganda said that uh, there might be some certain ways of him telling politics to the media so let's say my phone is the media and I'm the president of the United States uh, am I gonna say uh, 
taxes are going to be uh, increased by 100% of your check every other month directly to the media or am I going to try to say uh, yeah uh, pretty soon we're all going to work together to try to raise the taxes from people's income every month so there's two types of uh, uh, way of speech and it's in the Bible because this is where I'm going to continue reading the book of Genesis but again I'm going to start off with a verse that I found this this morning actually I woke up really early uh, to this uh, Tuesday January the 11th it is approximately uh, 0800 in the morning and uh, let's go directly to the uh, book of Deuteronomy Deuteronomy chapter 13 which speaks about uh, those should not commit adultery because adult, adult, adultery is a big thing today in America and actually it does influence people's mind obsessively and uh, again uh, I should finish the reading the Bible within a year in God's eyes you know so a year could be a day a day is a year in God's eyes so technically it means no rush in need of no rush to finish reading the Bible that's that's what uh, a year should mean in the Bible anyways uh, and I hold true to what I said that uh, human society should live off on a week calendar because it exists in that form already nothing much is gonna change whether I become president or not people will still think of the calendar as months which makes sense there's 31 days in the month there's 30 days on another and it gives a bit of confusion in the mind on on on, on the time bolical chain of 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 gap in space between uh, society so even time is a uh, is a uh, is a money gambling creation people created time with money because money makes people feel like they're in a rush but in reality life shouldn't even move a muscle so I've learned that in this world if you want to live fast if you want to die young you work out to the max and bulk your body up and look like that one freaking guy who keeps popping up in my Twitter account I don't know how he looks like a freaking buffalo like if he works out yeah man keep working out like that so when you get old your skin is gonna be so old you're not even gonna have any skin to freaking live on so hey you wanna uh you wanna die young you work out as much as you want all right but me i've learned from uh my native people that if you work out appropriately slim fit you get to live long maybe get to be 85 years old anyways Leviticus chapter 13 let's see what it says actually a uh, book of Deuteronomy book of Deuteronomy let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 13 we're gonna start right there our uh, 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 Bible study today uh, 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 today's Bible study is gonna be based on uh, be based on an interpretation by uh, me Javier Alejandro Diaz Diaz because I do dream of one day becoming my own uh, minister in my own uh, organization church in which I hope I can gather because it's not easy gathering 12 people or even more so uh, 5 people so uh, let us read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 1 it says uh, a warning against idolatry suppose there are uh, prophets among you or those who dream dreams about the future and they uh, promise you signs or miracles and the predicted signs or miracles occur 
If they then say, come let us worship other gods, gods you have not known before, do not listen to them. The Lord your God is testing you to see if you truly love him with all your heart and soul. Serve only the Lord your God and fear him alone. Obey his commands, listen to his voice and clinch to him. The false prophets or visionaries who try to lead you astray must be put to death. But not physical death, but spiritual death. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 5, it says, The false prophets or visionaries who try to lead you astray must be put to death. sound come down because it's too loud too loud you can't hear anything again like I said uh, this is my own YouTube channel and uh, I preach the Bible through these uh, video clips about uh, how the Bible should be interpreted by every single person so in the Bible it says that if that soul wants to go to heaven he needs to be able to interpret the Bible in his own testament because when he gets to heaven He's going to have to give a testimony to God. So nowadays, we live in a world where uh, the United States and specifically, they like making lawyers. Lawyers who even learn how a human being should live. And they make money out of that. So imagine how much of a sin that will be when that soul gets to heaven. He's going to have to give testimony of every single day of his life that he has lived. Now, what does a day mean in the Bible? Because I keep saying that I'm going to finish the whole... Look, look, there goes that sound again. <clears throat> airplanes, airplanes intend to be pretty loud around here. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, uh, Deuteronomy, uh, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse, verse uh, 5. It says, the false prophets or visionaries who try to lead you astray must be put to death, spiritual death. For they, for they encourage rebellion against the Lord your God who redeemed you from slavery and brought you out of the land of Egypt. So remember, if you're a believer, uh, if you're if you're literally a believer in Christianity, you have to believe the story of Egypt, Israel, and above all, Rome. Here's why: because uh, when Christ lived two thousand years ago, he was living during the Roman Empire era, during the year could be 0 AD let's just say that because uh, uh, sometimes I, I actually doubt the history that uh, the, the United States tries to imply into uh, humans in in the educational system here in Los Angeles so sometimes I doubt about uh, there being 2,000 years it could be could be 2,000 years but my understanding is that uh, confusion is through Babylon so in the year uh, in the year zero A.D., Babylon was also an empire, and today's modern Babylon is Iraq. So how come they don't teach us that in school? Instead, they teach us that their name is Iraq. So here's my point. My point is that if every nation on earth were to view itself as a spiritual ancient uh, country, you would better understand today's presence of the diplomacy and today's understanding of society. Let's um, finish chapter 13.
It says, uh, chapter 13, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 5. It says, the false prophets or visionaries who try to lead you astray must be put to death spiritually. For they encourage rebellion against the Lord your God, who redeemed you from slavery and brought you out of the land of Egypt. Since they try to lead you astray from the way the Lord your God commanded you to live, you must put them to spiritual death. In this way, you will purge the evil from among you. So let's, in the sermon, let's begin to talk about what it means to physically die. Because everybody has to die like even even if you don't want to die death is gonna reach you when you get old i work i work with a, a 80, 85 year old man in spanish is his only language and the man tells me uh in 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 very spiritual dead fear that he's actually really is scared to die because everybody is scared to die so in ancient times there used to be people who killed for sport just like spiritual adultery you could say when uh, a man is having uh, sexual content like in pornography a man is spiritually killing that woman leaving her as an empty vessel and this is very serious because this is what's happening in the United States today and they think it's normal. Think about that. They're, they're, they're thinking like it's completely normal. Now you could say the English in the United Kingdom are the Vikings. Because I keep seeing a lot of Twitter photos of people who are from England of that kind of race. And they try to imply it on my social media as if I give a crap, you know, like every race has its own spiritual talents and spiritual skills of understanding. So I keep seeing on my Twitter account, uh, uh, bulky people from, could be from Iceland. They could be really big people. They could be people that are of, uh, of, of great strength physically. Good, good for them, maybe. Maybe God made them so they could do all the hard work in the world. And I will pray to uh, God who is the father and the mother that they do so. Put those men to work. So, book of Deuteronomy chapter 13, it says a warning against idolatry. Because idolatry is a very serious thing. It could be both physical and spiritual. Because again, uh, the World Mission Society Church of God, where I go to uh, 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 right now, it's literally the only church I have ever been to where I literally started reading this, the Bible. So keep in mind, I'm from Mexico. And my only language when I came to this country was Spanish. So I struggled understanding the language while growing up. And what happened is that uh, during uh, uh, 2004, when I was here, the United States was at war with Babylon, or also known as Iraq, which the United States gave them that name. Because we don't speak Babylonian. They could, they could be speaking their own language, but we as Americans, or English United States, imply informational own type of uh, correct Google pixel uh, information that goes into people's society's brains you know and how how can you how can you say you know you could judge somebody by that type of will and and sure, it's understandable the the wars that go on is implying the Bible. Let's say uh, they were going into Iraq to try to imply the Bible, which is spiritual truth. It could be 
forcing the gospel. But let us finish Deuteronomy chapter 13. Let us see what it says. Deuteronomy chapter 13, which is going to finish off with spiritual idolatry, which is really good. Uh, book of Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 6 it says, uh, Suppose someone secretly entices you, even you, even your brother, your son or daughter, your beloved wife, or your closest friend, and says, Let us go worship other gods, gods that neither you nor your ancestors have known. They might suggest that you worship the gods of peoples who live nearby or who come from the ends of the earth, but do not give in or listen, have no pity, and do not spare or protect them. You must put them to spiritual death, completely ignore them. That's, that's what I've, I've, I've come to understand about spiritual death. Spiritual death could mean that you have a, a caring type of powers, you know, like, uh, and this is something that I, I'm learning also, you know, like, again, I speak Spanish. So in the English world, uh, apparently there's women that are uh, out there that are pretty uh, spicy in their spiritual strength. So they call them Karens because apparently you will never see them again if they don't want to, you know. And, it's okay you know she's spiritually kidding that person which is what it says in the bible it's a good thing they ignore that person forever you know <laughs> but but it's sad in another person's point you know like you know, like myself right here you know i met i met uh i thought a cool person you know like you know, her name is um jennifer Apparently, before I met her, it was uh, her mom, so her mom's pretty cool. It reminds me of my mom. It's like, I felt like I met uh, my mom in the, in, in, the, in the human form of the country of El Salvador. Because first of all, uh, my nationality is Mexico. So I was doing Uber from uh, March of 2021, my last days of doing Uber. And I met this friend called uh, L-U-Z, light in English, light, can you believe it? So it was pretty uh, miraculous and signful from God, from especially, especially me reading the Bible, I was like, uh, maybe this is that part in the movie Matrix where God is like, follow the, follow the white rabbit. So I, started, uh, so I started following the white rabbit and next thing you know, I'm like, well, she's an elderly lady. She's 69 years old. I'm just gonna be making money from her by taking her from one place to another place. And in that way, I could make my own list of passengers who I could get paid from instead of letting Uber take all the $60 that they charge a passenger from 14 mile distance, <laughs> 60 dollars. Alright, All right, so 60 dollars is uh, the main topic here. It's a lot of money actually. 60 dollars is like trying to buy uh, five days of coffee. Can you do that? Sixty dollars could buy me six days of coffee. In in my world, I can't even get past a week without thinking of next week uh, next week's coffee meetings with myself. Can you believe it? I am my own best friend. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 6. It says, Suppose someone secretly entices you, even your brother, your son, or, or, or daughter, your beloved wife, or your closest friend, and says, Let us go worship other gods, gods that neither you nor your ancestors have known. 
It says, they might suggest that you worship the gods of peoples who live nearby or who come from the ends of the earth. But do not give in or listen. Have no pity and do not spare or protect them. You must put them to spiritual death. Strike the first blow yourself and then all the people must join in. Stone the guilty ones to spiritual death because they have tried to draw you away from the Lord your God who rest who rest rest rescued you from the land of Egypt the place of slavery then all Israel will hear about it and be afraid and no one will act so wickedly again when you begin uh, living in the towns the Lord your God is giving you you may hear that uh, scoundrels among you are leading their fellow citizens astray by saying let us go worship other gods gods you have not known before in such cases you must examine the facts carefully if you find commit uh, if you if you find that the report is true and such detestable acts have been completely shown that scoundrels scoundrels spelled s z that scoundrel spelled s c for comcat or capcom or uh central or city uh spelled s c o u n d r e l s S C O U N D R E L S. The scoundrels among you are. Or the scoundrels among you are 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 worshiping other gods, gods you have not known before. And that the report is true, and such a detestable act has been committed among you. You must attack that town and stock. You must attack that town and completely destroy all its inhabitants as well as the livestock. Then you must pile all the plunder in the middle of the open square and burn it. Burn the entire town as a burnt offering to the Lord your God. That town must be that town must remain a ruin forever it may never be rebuilt keep none of the plunder that has been set apart for destruction then the Lord will turn from his fierce anger and be merciful to you he will have compassion on you and make you a large nation just as he swore to your ancestors the Lord your God will be merciful only if you listen to his voice and keep all his commands that I am giving you today uh, Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 18 it says the Lord your God will be merciful only if you listen to his voice and keep all his commands that I am giving you today doing this will surely grab God's attention so that's Deuteronomy chapter 13 and apparently uh, 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 my understanding of God so far is that God could be a spiritual internet spiritual internet spiritual internet is uh, very hard to find could be the Holy Spirit many people today they interpret the Holy Spirit in the way their conscience wants them to understand the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is not for everybody it says God made animals God said God made animals because they would not even listen to his voice 
many people in today's society they think Adam and Eve were the first people on earth God had already created mankind through cavemen and those were animals they were actually people who evolved throughout time so when God appeared when God decided to put his conscience in people's minds known as good and evil he began the story with Adam and Eve because as we come to know God does whatever he wants because in the Bible it says that he is a king he can do whatever he wants he could literally grab uh, uh, a homeless from downtown and make him president the next day remember I said a year it's not a day and a day is not a year you don't know God's years maybe mankind created time so that we could realize that God also has a time dimension of his own well, apparently we must abide with society's rules when you live among a society that uh, you know clearly if they say they are the rulers of the world it, then they should make the rules of better understanding society because when I was in high school I could tell you that I had a teacher named Larry in the City of Angels this was a private school and even to this day I could almost feel his conscience in my head because I never really had a, a father who could lead me in such form where like I could be like as a, a animal let's just say I'm an animal because every baby that's born is an animal technically God allowed you to give him your conscience because you're not God you could be the dumbest person on earth and start raising a child but what makes you any different from the richest motherfucker let's take uh, that one Russian guy Elon, Elon Musk net worth 312 billion dollars he, he almost thinks he's a god people actually worship him as a god but what makes him any different than my brother who let's say he's the dumbest person on earth And he's trying to raise a child, you know? What What makes Elon Musk more different than my own physical brother? So... Really, wealth is a strength, but it's a physical strength. Of pushing others pushing others buttons spiritual buttons could be uh, making you feel like you're in a rush making you feel like if you are not perfect sometimes I feel like uh, the reason why uh, 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 my physical mouth is always you know like drowning is because I'm not really happy you know and I'm happy with that because this world the way I live it's not a happy life I'm I'm sad all the time so like you know they say your body gets used to what you are you know so if I was laughing all the time being happy maybe I could have a smile like that you know like hey my lips stay like that you know because the human body is accustomed to whatever you're going through you know this year 2022 according to the solar calendar I'm gonna try my best to 
try and read the Bible. Just try to finish reading Genesis and then uh, try to get my mind into uh, finishing actually a book of the Bible. my crazy hair? Man, no wonder I can't get a girlfriend. You look like a caveman. Look at it. <laughs> a caveman that just came out of his cave. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. I gotta get a coffee right now. Life is hard. Life is really hard. <sighs> Life is really hard for me right now. Uh, uh, again, uh, I met a friend through Uber around March. And honestly, I learned a lot. Uh, I'm literally by the uh, Los Angeles airport where uh, I believe I began reading the Bible last year around uh, January when I was still doing Uber. And uh, I'm starting to realize that a day, it's like a year. A day is like a year. Because uh, I found this job at a restaurant which by the way I don't think I would have ever in my life imagined that I would be working at a restaurant I thought I was going to be a truck driver by now but I'm now a dishwasher which by the way uh, I love driving but honestly I can't even speed anymore I don't think I have ever sped in my life, especially the car I drove before, uh, Nissan Sentra 2018, four cylinder, 1.8 freaking uh, CVT engine, fastest ever went was 110 miles per hour because of the governor that kept kicking in, and that's as fast as I've ever freaking gone because my previous car I had was a Ford Thunderbird, a V8 engine, piece of shit car, a, 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 a gas killer, it was a 4.5 liter. Uh, it literally ate all my money. And that's when, uh, that's when gas was four bucks. happened is that uh, four dollars was the gas four dollars can you believe it now uh, unfortunately I don't have a car now I'm driving my mom's SUV because of the very simple reason of following the Bible trying to cover your own brother and sister's faults remember I'm here on this earth to try to be as God abiding citizen as possible so if today People were to try to think that, oh, that guy steals uh, money for a living. Or, hey, that guy uh, could be a freaking uh, loner for a reason. Let's say somebody today says, uh, you you are a loner he could be a loner for a reason he's never had a girlfriend he has had a girlfriend but 
had hasn't found a, a girlfriend recently because he's probably uh, uh, not very social, can't get along with others, probably because of uh, wealth. Don't get along with others because uh, don't enjoy the same activities as you do. So uh, can't really relate because the minute uh, the conversation starts. How the hell am I going to talk about Six Flags if I haven't even been to Six Flags? How in the world am I going to talk with anybody if I haven't even been outside of Los Angeles County? How in the world am I going to have a conversation with anybody if I can't even understand what a goddamn airline is? Because I've never flown in a goddamn airplane in my life. How can I be talking about France or freaking Spain or even Mexico if I haven't even been to any of those countries but only through reading fucking Wikipedia? And keep in mind, Wikipedia, people could update that shit. <laughs> so, so imagine one day I'm hanging out with somebody who really has gone around the world and has visited Egypt physically. And out of nowhere, uh, there's a hacker around and starts updating the Wikipedia. And out of nowhere, I start looking into my Google phone. Yeah, where exactly are the pyramids? Yeah, they are in uh, Uganda. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's in Uganda because that person that hacked during uh, that time the network put that the pyramids of Egypt are in Uganda. Could be true. What if they're not really in Cairo? Or in... Uh, What's another city in Egypt? I don't know. I was talking about Uganda earlier because it's an African state down there by Ethiopia. I think that's where President Barack Obama was born in Uganda. I think. I'm not sure. He could have been born in uh, Ethiopia. Or, or in Hawaii like he says. Or who knows. You know, Maybe I could be racist right there by following what the media try to influence me because I keep watching uh, uh, politics and it says Donald Trump was very angry when he tried to figure out where Obama was from can you believe that Donald Trump he could be a Viking he could be an Englishman he could be a German whatever but he tried saying that somebody who was starting to come up as a Democrat because people actually pushed them up there to be at a stage level began to be uh, uh, questioned by a rich person so in today's world being rich does have a lot of, uh, of a lot of uh, has a lot of value on your uh, image when you go up in uh, social social media status it could literally lower you down so much that uh, you could be turned into a pest of dust. Holding a little card right here. These are the cards I was using when I found this friend named Light. I gave her this card actually. I was, uh, in Spanish, is loose. We're in right here at the Los Angeles uh, International Airport. Waiting, her, uh, waiting for her uh, uh, a cab to fly up into the air. And uh, apparently, uh, uh, just this morning, I spoke with her and. Uh, uh, brings me tears because uh, uh, 
I think it's pretty sad what the world uh, is doing to uh, poor people like her. And honestly, uh, being a Democrat means that if I have the willpower to speak up in a podium, if I have the power to speak up in a podium and try to address a certain form of understanding of the world, and if people actually like you, like, President Barack Obama they could actually boost you up all the way to uh, international state level appearance So this friend, uh, I just said, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, greetings, 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 G-R-E-E-T-I-N-G, -E -E greetings, of uh, uh, friendship, friendship of trying to understand each other's nationalities as a nation. If, if people are in the United States, and they uh, are from other nationalities they are considered immigrants in the United States so uh, there keeps being a, a understanding of China having a lot of influence over people because they actually have the power or the will to uh, hy hyperbolically make a, a rush ball out of you American or immigrant because even me like let's say some, somebody that's rich and is from China actually paid a group of people to come come beat me up right now you know tell me hey man go back to your area you belong over there you know like in the movie time or like there was uh, limitations on how far out into the city you could go like Let's say I wanted to go to Orange County and, and, and Donald Trump happens to be right there. And, 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 and just with his presence, he creates a wealth gap among uh, 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 his surrounding radius. So he starts telling uh, phone calls. He, he, he starts making phone calls. He goes like, hey man, we need a barrier between uh, 405 and uh, 405 and, the, and that 105 freeway we see any immigrant pass by let's check up on them let's send them straight back to the valley where he belongs that type of power is in uh, 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 representatives who are in uh, that type of state level of mindset of understanding now my point here is that in this country called the United States of America the English from the United Kingdom they fled from their uh, kingdom in the 17 or it could be 1600s and uh, the English uh, colonies who were the very poor people built the 13 colonies in the East Coast which are now Virginia South Carolina, North Carolina, New Jersey, uh, Massachusetts, it could be uh, Virginia, West Virginia, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maine. I heard there's 13 original colonies. So, think about what a colony is. So, Let's just say one colony was English, one colony was German, 
one colony was uh, so on and so on French. One little happening is that those 13 colonies began to unite as a form of government known as the 1776 uh, U.S. Constitution, the United States Constitution. So, of course, it's true. There was no Mexico. There was no Spanish in there. So, I myself, as an immigrant, I am at fault of being here under their uh, laws of state. Because uh, we could say that there are, 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 they are a republic when Donald Trump, people of that type of wealth, is in power. But let's say when a Democrat uh, person, like uh, uh, President Barack Obama, who was brought up as a Democrat, uh, being a Democrat means people actually vote you into the state power. Being a Republican means that you're a wealth, like Elon Musk, Donald Trump, you have wealth, and you could buy yourself a, 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 a seat in power by overcoming voting rights. So this whole thing of me listening to uh, 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 social media like CNN and uh, NBCs that says that uh, there's Democrats cheating because they are using uh, dead people's votes, right? Even if that were so, how can you prove that there's actually that amount of people who are rich and they're not doing the same fraudulent type of uh, 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 commitment there commitment is uh, an action of will to try to uh, uh, intervene in the election uh, collateral uh, I keep forgetting what that thing is called so college collateral uh, apparently like let's say San Fernando I don't get San Fernando I sometimes I trip out but Let's just say the major, the, the mayor is very important of San Fernando. And he's a Democrat. And uh, I was a U.S. citizen and I voted for him. And the guy from Panorama City is a uh, Republican. He has a lot of money. He's like, yeah, uh, no, we're going to vote Republican. So those votes start adding up into a percentage all the way to the uh, county's uh, 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 total of votes and then from the county it starts going to another county and then they start counting uh, all the counties within the state and then all those votes go directly to the senates and in the senates there could be uh, uh, two senates or even three senates that's that's where uh, republican power is in the house that's where you can see that uh all right uh, this state should only have one senator a male and one senator a female so uh, what happens is that they end up taking the power of uh, uh three senates right let's say some states have three senates and they start removing the power of those two senates and now what happens is that uh everything gets corrupted because now instead of each state having a male and a female senate there are states that are starting to have two males two males two males and then let's just let's just try to confuse it real quick let's just finish in an even number or odd number forgot odds are threes evens are twos okay odd number and let's just see if they pay attention because it's really hard uh, uh, to, to get a full count of votes if people actually voted so uh, it could be true what the Chinese are trying to do they're trying to push a cryptocurrency which is a currency that could be uh, 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 be, be uh, uh, used as an actual way of keeping track of people's spendings which is good because like that you could say uh, a community like San Fernando, let's just say San Fernando, there was a guy making fake money and he actually ran the whole city. 
and by, by his power he actually uh, began to began to manipulate uh, the authorities and, 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 and started printing his own money and then started giving it out to uh, random people and then uh, under his uh, uh, administration he began to just rule the people with his own printed money this this is just a myth I'm just saying it you know so let's say a person like that began to buy boats into the government political uh, ruling rights who keeps track of that and then also uh, just like CNN news says it says that uh, uh, dead people are voting right so let's say a dead person votes if you know that's a dead person how come you don't remove them that's how you know the Republican Party has a lot of power in the state uh, of California because nowadays they're playing Babylon they're playing the confusion game they could be a Democrat but in reality they're a Republican that's why there needs to be a, a, a more clear way on how to uh, gather that information. Now, is this important? For me, no, I'm an immigrant. I could get what Rand says about who's even the, the governor of California, but unfortunately I do know because it's all I hear in uh, my YouTube. Because I can't even get a job or even an education. Can you believe it? All because I am an immigrant. Think about it. What, what in the world is a social security nowadays? Even more, what is a United States of America citizenship? Maybe it is time to uh, uh, reform all these, uh, all these uh, materials that God has given you United States because to me the understanding of America it's not just you Mr. Big Brother I am Mexico so let's say I spoke for uh, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador and I was his English version let's say I was uh, his, his interpreter or maybe his future self trying to come back into uh, in, 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 into the present time to try to tell him hey Mr. President before your six years are out don't listen to some Republicans that are in Mexico right now because Mexico has a lot of wealth power through money so they intend to be Republicans instead of Democrats like uh, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador he's a Democrat who's being praised by people but there's rich folks who are Republicans and they are in Mexico right now trying to persuade or even pervert his mind. Trying to confuse Babylonian, confuse the truth, the sheep among the wolves. Because remember in this world there's two types of people. There's wolves and then there's sheep. Those who are obedient and those who lead by force wolves Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 1 uh, De uh, Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 1 The title is a warning Let this be a warning against idolatry For even as a nation we could be idolaters of other nations and let's begin to view each person 
as a nation if you are a US a United States citizen then you are a US citizen not United States of America because America is the whole continent it's just like Africa Africa is not united Africa is a lot of nations all together there could be a, 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 a union kind of like the uh, United uh, Nations the UN in Europe Africa has one too but I forgot the name of it the United States is the Union for America but sometimes the US tries to think that there are a country itself they think that they are Germans when there's a German president like Donald Trump in office Kinda, kinda mentality is that, huh? And let's say in the world today, Mexico is the little brother. He's, cause remember the way Mexico governs its people, it's a same constitutional system of America. It's the same one, I mean, uh, of the United States. That's why Mexico is called uh, the United States of Mexico. In a way, America has already tried to make Mexico part of the UN. Maybe in the in in the future it will. But for now, let us let us as a little brother that I am tell you, uh, big brother, uh, United States, which to me you are the uh, the the English. That's what it sounds like. Or it could be a racist by saying that. I've always thought of Mexico as being the child of Spain and I've always thought of U.S. being the child of the uh, uh, United Kingdom because United Kingdom, they speak English. Uh, here in the U.S., the official language is English. So to me, it feels like uh, the U.S. is the United Kingdom. Mexico is Spain and uh, those are the two nations. In, in in Europe, the United Nations could be Rome still because that's that's where Rome was with Italy, and then Africa could be uh, many many nations who are just like the United Kingdom and 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 Spain or the U.S. or Mexico. They are children of God. That's why in the Bible it says that every child has its own uh, way of understanding things, you know, because maybe that child only speaks Spanish, maybe that child only speaks English, maybe that child only speaks German or Bulgarian or Korean or, or uh, Mandarin, Chinese. But in God's eyes, we are all brothers and sisters since Adam and Eve so it's so weird that nowadays people think that it is uh, disgusting when uh, let's say uh, a son were to try to uh, uh, intermarry with his I don't know, aunt or sister whatever maybe in Adam in Eve's times, that was completely normal. In today's world, uh, we come to understand that if I come from a different family and you come from a family that nobody knows that family's members, it's completely okay to uh, intermarry, <clears throat> be part of that family. So, in speaking uh, nationality, in 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 speaking in in terms of nationality, racism starts when a, a Spanish son tries to go out into the world and look for a English woman who speaks only English. Or could be uh, 
Bulgarian. Like, imagine I found a Bulgarian person only speaks Bulgarian, like literally no English. And 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 there's a colony right here in Los Angeles where like they get along because they only speak Bulgarian or or even Korean. I tell you, I found a, a sister at the church I go to, and I like her, but she only speaks Korean. And her, her family is is sending her here with a visa. And she's only here to try to study the Bible and 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 and, and I'm being a freaking uh, Mexican right there pushing in the church. Hey, I'm I'm trying to get married with this Korean woman just because she's Korean and she might make my next generation look a bit of uh, a little bit beautiful than I am uh, at the present time. <laughs> and the reason why I laugh is because it's true. Not only happening in 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 all the churches in the world, but it's happening in every church in the world. It could happen in Joel Oystein's church, the Westwood. It could be happening in the Catholic church. It could be happening in the the Mormons' church. You know, it could be an English guy looking for a, a Belgian woman, a Russian woman. You know, but all those are nations. They're all all God's children. So in a way. Racism starts when you start differentiating, dif uh, differing people by their language, by not accepting them by who they are. A good story is a woman who came here uh, to the United States and only spoke Spanish. And her whole life she goes like, well, I'm only going to speak Spanish. In, in this world, which they only speak English, how offensive could that be to that woman if she goes like, hey, I'm trying to talk to you, but you only speak English. Now, in the English world, to my understanding, they are considered to be the number one leaders of the world so if you're trying to be a leader and you say you speak the English language act your proper educational manner and try to learn that person's language 